Today's tutorial is going to show you how to record your narration. To begin, you select the picture that you want to connect audio to. Move the playhead to the left hand side and then go to the preview that's connected to that picture. So here's that picture of the jellyfish. It's shown here in the preview because it's highlighted in yellow. In the bottom left hand corner, you'll notice that there's a microphone symbol. Click on it. When you click on it, that changes the symbols below the center of the preview picture. You'll notice that it has three symbols. The one in the middle is a red circle. That's your record button, which starts the recording and stops the recording. To the left of it, you have a volume meter, which tells you how loud your voice is that is being picked up on the audio signal. When you talk louder or get closer to the microphone, it picks up and turns orange or even red. Here, I'll snap my fingers near the microphone. Notice how it turns red. Okay, to the right of the record button is a volume setting. If your volume meter on the left is sitting in the orange or the red, you don't want that. So you might need to go in here and turn down the microphone setting just a little bit using this slider. That's about the only one that I would mess with. I would not mess with the input source and I wouldn't mess with the mute project. When you're ready to record your narration, you want to make sure that you only record one sentence at a time. Do not click the record button and begin reading your whole story from start to finish. If you do that, it will make your project unmanageable and it will cause a lot of problems. Please only record one sentence per one picture or a small group of sentences per picture. Okay, so you're ready to record. When you press the red circle, it's going to do a 3, 2, 1 on the screen right here to go 3, 2, 1, and it may even beep going beep, beep, beep. You don't talk until the 3, 2, 1 leaves the screen. When you're done talking, press the red circle or the space bar. Okay, I'm going to show you how it's done. And just as I was about to get out of the water, a big wave splashed up my backside, pushing a jellyfish right into my bathing suit, stinging me on the butt. Okay, so now you'll notice that there's an audio file here in the timeline just below the picture. Now what you want to do is preview it back the playhead up and see how it sounds. And just as I was about to get out of the water, a big wave splashed up my backside, pushing a jellyfish right into my bathing suit, stinging me on the butt. Okay, so it didn't sound bad, but there's a little bit of dead space at the end, and there's a little bit of dead space at the beginning. So I can use the left-hand side of this audio and bring it in, and the right-hand side and bring it in a little bit, shortening the dead space. Then I'm going to back up the audio file so it lines up vertically with the picture on the left hand edge right here. Now what I want to do is take the picture edge and back it up so it synchronizes with the audio so that their two vertical edges are as close as possible to be lining up so that there aren't any awkward dead spaces in terms of sound. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. We're going to play it back. And just as I was about to get out of the water, a big wave splashed up my backside, pushing a jellyfish right into my bathing suit, stinging me on the butt. All right. Repeat this process for each picture. And the last thing you need to know is, if you don't like the sound of the recording, click on that green audio file so that it is highlighted in a yellow outline, and then press the delete key on your keyboard to get rid of it. If you change your mind, press Command-Z to undo, and it brings it right back.